Christ. He claims to be the strongest man in professional wrestling. He claims to weigh 350 pounds. He claims to be from the Olympic Village. He is Dave Patera. Dave Patera going one on one with UWC newcomer Buff Johnny Graber. Both of these men coming off of recent singles losses. Buff Johnny Graber lost a three way match to Nathan Avery and Slayer. Dave Patera recently losing a match to the Redneck King of the Jungle, Jimmy Lyon. Both of these men would like to see and pick up a victory here, possibly working their way to title contention. U.S. title, six-gun challenge with it later on the program, heavyweight championship, all sorts of titles that these men would like to get their hands on. And Joe Rules has not come back to the commentary booth after what happened in the previous match. I think he's taking on the conditional text with Billy Madison, making sure he's okay. There's the bell. So hopefully we'll get an update from Joe Rules when he comes back out here on the condition of textbook Billy Madison. And I'm just going to throw this out here. Where's Billy Madison? Why wasn't Dave Patera out here to help his friend Billy Madison after he got laid out in the last match? Why didn't he help him out? That was, that's what I want to know. He's clearly here tonight. I would have thought he would have been out here to try to help Billy Madison. Once again, we're joined here on commentary by former UFC heavyweight champion, tag team, or U.S. champion, North American champion, and commissioner, Joe Rules. Joe, can you give us an update on the condition of textbook Billy Madison? Um, the EMTs are looking at him right now, and um, uh, it looks like everything's going to be good, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll find out. We'll have to wait and see. All right, that's good to hear. Uh, I, I just raised a quick, important question, and I thought before you came out here, why didn't Dave Patera come out here to help textbook Billy Madison when he was being jumped by the Secret Society? He has one friend in the entire world, Dave Patera. Dave was not out here. But I, just, I would have never have thought that he wouldn't come out here to help Dave Patera or text with Billy Madison. It kind of shows you what kind of man Dave Patera is. Well, I know what kind of man Dave Patera is. I've known him for uh, a good 15 years now. Night headlock takeover here by Buff Johnny. Now, both of these men need a win here. Both of them coming off of recent losses. Both of them want to get a win so that way they can get back into title contention. Possibly against the heavyweight champion. I already talked about all this, but you weren't here, so I just thought I'd bring it up for your benefit. Oh, thank you. Who do you like in this one, Joe? Well, 
I know I personally don't like Dan Patera. Most people don't. But I, he obviously has more experience. Um, they're both, both technically gifted uh, wrestlers. Unfortunately, I gotta give this one to Patera. Patera? Oh, okay. I was in fact I was talking to the Ripper backstage before the show, and he was telling me about how impressed he was by Buff Johnny Graham. Not to say that he likes Buff Johnny too much, but that he thought he was a very he, he was surprised by how good he was actually. So because he you know the Ripper kind of doesn't take some opponents for granted, but Buff Johnny did a pretty good job out there. Without a doubt, and uh, Buff Johnny is. Uh, Forearm to the face of Dave Patera right there. Damn here, take over into the cover. And get the count two. And Patera kicks right out. De de deceptively, it's easy for me to say, he's deceptively powerful, is Dave Patera, the strongest man in the world. How is that deceptively powerful if he's the strongest man in the world? Well, look at him. You wouldn't know from looking at him that he has, uh, has that strength. But the fact is, he does. He can't get it. My question is, is he stronger than Bill Kazmaier? Without a doubt, whether it's Bill Kazmaier, whether it's Ted Arcini, doesn't make a difference. Neither one of them is Dave Patera. And he's a better wrestler than all those guys, too. Without question. Look at that fisherman snow. I thought he was going for the fisherman. Same the top. Grab the fisherman off the top. I've never seen a fisherman off the top. That must hurt. Now what is this? Oh. Sit down bomb right there. Oh, could be it. Oh. No. Oh. We get the count of two, Graver's a surprisingly Brazilian man. Oh, he's getting choked right here. Go over here. We got a count of five. Daryl Ropes drops the leg. Cover, only gets a counter to it. Crowd growling behind Graber, the newcomer here. We're taking a little bit of a liking to it. Drop kick right to the mush. And just like that, the momentum's done. Only gets a counter to it. He's still trying to work his way. He's back on his feet. Kick to the midsection. And Patera not able to keep him down. This is the right hand. Oh, Enzugiri! Shades of Antonio and Noki. Antonio and Noki, bad news ground. Owen Hart. Rick Silver had a very effective Enzugiri. Really? I felt that on a few uh, more than more than one uh, I bet you did. You hit the right hand. Oh, double knees to the face. What's he setting up for? He's wasting too much time. Going up to the second row. Oh, big elbow. Maybe Picture. he did waste too much time. This could be it. Three. Picture perfect elbow drop. Gets the pin for Johnny Green. Right in the center of the ring. What a win. Johnny Graber! There you go! I would definitely call that a huge upset. Jo Buff Johnny, he's, he's on his way to big things here in the UWC. I gotta think so, absolutely. That was a great win for him. Dave Patera, meanwhile, not so great for him. You can pin a veteran like Dave Patera with one, two, three, Johnny middle of the ring. Unbelievable. Congratulations to Buff Johnny Graper on picking up his first single win here in the UWC.